we stayed on a council-run campsite. Was it any good? Let's find out. Welcome back to another quick campsite review. Today we'll be looking at Brynbark Park, a small council-run site in Tredegar, South Wales. Brynbark is a nature reserve with over 400 acres to explore, including grassland, woodland and a lake. We had a one night stay here in high season for £30 a night. The site is located in Tredegar and is well located for exploring the South Wales Valleys and the Brecon Beacons National Park. Access is via the main Heads of the Valleys Road, the A465. On arrival you check in at reception desk in the visitor centre. Here you will be given your pitch number and a key fob for the facility block. The campsite itself is quite small with just 25 pitches, all of which are hard standing with electric hooker. The pitches are long and narrow and organised around the view of the lake. We have to say that both the pitches and the access road were very tired and in need of some maintenance. The ground around the pitch was also very boggy. Recycling was next to the facilities block and had plenty of bins for sorting rubbish. We could only find one water point for the whole site and sadly this too needed some TLC. We had pitch number two which was level and did have an excellent view of the lake. The pitch was also one of the closest to the facility block at around 100 metres away. The facilities block is based at the back of the main visitor centre. They are open during the day and access via a key fob overnight. To their credit, the toilets and showers were in really good order, with plenty of showers that were both spacious and clean. Sadly, the same could not be said for the wash-up and laundry facilities, which were surprising given the cleanliness of the toilet and showers. There is a dog-friendly cafe in the visitor centre, serving hot food, coffees and drinks. They also serve alcohol. The cafe is open from 10am to 5pm weekdays, and from 9am to 5pm at weekends. In the summer, there is also an outside area where you can buy snacks, ice creams and drinks. There's also an outdoor seating area for a picnic, but on our visit it was covered by bird droppings and feathers from a visiting gaggle of cackling geese. As well as some great walks around the park, there's also a range of different outdoor activities, some free and some for a small charge. These include open water swimming, archery and fishing. You can also hire paddle boards, kayaks and canoes. There is a climbing wall and a cave simulator. There's also a large playground, mini golf and a small sensory garden. Check the website in the description for more details. Here are a few places to visit on your stay at Brynbach Park. Discover the fascinating world of Welsh coal mining at Big Pit National Coal Museum. Dive into the real underground experience guided by former miners gaining first-hand insight into their challenging lives. Above ground explore exhibits showcasing the evolution of mining technology and its impact on the local community. Big Pit offers an authentic and gripping journey into Wales's industrial past, making it a must visit for history enthusiasts and those curious about the resilience that shaped this region. Abergavenny is an historic market town. Whether you're a food enthusiast eager to explore the renowned Abergavenny Food Festival or a traveller seeking a relaxed stroll through the picturesque streets, Abergavenny promises a delightful blend of tradition, local flavour and a warm inviting atmosphere. Crickowl is a beautiful Welsh town. Its historic market street is a treasure trove of independent shops, perfect for unique finds and local crafts. And for a relaxed evening, the local pubs serve up good food and a friendly atmosphere, making Crickowell a great destination to visit. Here are our top tips for Brynbach Park. The whole site is very dog friendly and this includes the on-site cafe. Feel free to take your well-behaved pooch. If you have children in your group, then there is plenty of things for them to do. Our grandchildren particularly love the park and seeing the wildlife around the lake. As the site is council run, the park is very accessible for those less mobile. See their website for more details.
So would we stay again? Sadly, the answer is no. Well, not until they improve the quality of the pitches. The campsite itself is very run down and not worth the £35 per night charge. It has a lot of potential, but certainly not worth it at the moment. We hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, then please leave us a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it does help the channel. We look forward to seeing you again in another video.